IQ is made possible in part by Wing to Wing Foundation. Today, these two teams, Tri-State STEM Plus M from South Point, Ohio, and Rock Hill from Pedro, Ohio, compete on today's HiQ. From the Cool TV studio, here's the host of HiQ, Ernie Anderson. Thank you, AKBK, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. A vigorous round of applause as we welcome back previous winners, Rock Hill and Tri-State STEM. Tri-State STEM, we're gonna start with you in our warm-up round. These are all worth 10 points apiece. Words, a partial refund to someone who has paid too much money for tax, rent, or a utility. The retail store Menards gives 11% back on purchases when you mail in an online form. What is that word we're looking for there? Your answer? No. You know, Jared. A rebate. That's a rebate. That's all we're looking for there. So now your words question. Rearrange the letters in rebate. And give me a word which means to scold or criticize someone angrily. Uh, berate. Berate is right. Staying with you for a common Latin phrases. I'll give you the Latin. You translate into English. Veni, vidi, vici, as attributed to Julius Caesar. Veni, vidi, vici. Nah. Don't know? Do you know Josiah? Answer, I came, I saw, I conquered. Now, your Latin <laughs> phrases. Carpe diem is taken from book one of the Roman poet Horace's work, Odes. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Seize the day is right. Staying with you for a question on decades. In which decade did delegates from six southern states mean, meet to form the Confederate States of America? Which decade? Eighteen sixty. Say again? 1860s? The 1860s is right. Now, your decades question, uh, Jared. In what decade did the federal buildings in the U.S. adopt no smoking rules? Uh, 1990s. No? Do you know? 1970s? The 1980s. Let's try a visual question for you, Jared, and Rock Hill. This nonagenarian is an American business magnate, investor, and philanthropist. He's currently the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, one of the most successful investors in the world, has a net worth of over $116 billion as of May 2022. Name this giant, born August 30th, 1930. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is right, so another 10 for you brings you to uh, 30. Your nonagenarian's question now, uh, Josiah. The eighth and final leader of the Soviet Union he was the General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union from 1985 until 1991. He was also the country's head of state from 1988 until 1991, serving as chairman of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet from 1988 to 1989, chairman of the Supreme Soviet from 89 to 90, president of the Soviet Union from 90 to 91, named this nonagenarian, born March 2, 1931, who died August 30th, 2022 at the age of 91. Mikhail Gorbachev? Mm, that's who it is. And that wraps up a tied first uh, period of play. We'll be back with a bonus round when Q returns. 2023 is the year of Dutch Miller Kia in South Charleston, and friends and family pricing means you'll get the best deal right up front on every vehicle, every time. Don't forget, every brand new Kia comes with Dutch Miller's exclusive 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. For a limited time, ask about no payments for 90 days. Text or chat now at DutchMillerKiaOfCharleston.com or come in today to test drive your future favorite ride ever only at Dutch Miller Kia of South Charleston. Food Fair is the place to save. Our cart cash rewards will save you even more. Become a VIP member. Sign up is easy. When you sign up for cart cash, the more you shop, the more you save. Visit any of our locations or go to foodfairmarkets.com. 
and sign up today to start saving. Food Fair, where convenience and quality meet. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track. Make life easier and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. The views are breathtaking. The instruction is personal. The experience is hands-on. The programs are nationally ranked. The atmosphere is welcoming. It's all here, all in one unique place. All to help you soar higher. Thank you folks and welcome back to IQ, a 30-30 tie after our warm-up round, the bonus round coming up. We're gonna go to Tri-State STEM and talk to Joe Saya and tell us more about your school. This is their first year and here they are in uh, doing well in their rounds the past few weeks. Tell us about Tri-State STEM. So we are a project-based learning school. We currently just did a project with the Reptile House in Huntington, West Virginia and helping them get started up. We made a bunch of different prototypes for them to use. And we are currently doing stuff for musical theater in our production of Beauty and the Beast, getting sponsorships, like helping out with that stuff. Will you be the beauty or the beast? I'm the beast. <laughs> oh, 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 a beastie man. All right. And you can be the beauty. You ladies can tra trade off being the beauties. I'm Mrs. Hobbs and Mrs. Jim. Oh, so you're all in. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Now, Jared, tell us about your Rock Hill Red Men. Oh, well, another interesting thing about our school is we have some school-run businesses. We have a school-run, student-run t-shirt shop and the Red Men Roaster, which is a cookie-slash-coffee shop. Ooh. Yeah. Ah, did All you, student run. Did you bring me any uh, chocolate chip cookies by any chance? I don't think I did. You no. know, perhaps if you were to win the uh, day, then uh, <clears throat> think of that when you come back. It's possible. But <laughs> until then, and you're on the football team, or we're on the football yeah. team. Uh, who would you say is your biggest nemesis? Well, Colgrove, uh, Dawson Bryant, but then also Ironton. Ironton, yeah, yeah the, the Fighting Iron. Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's cool, though. My friend Jason Filiaud does the, uh, or J yeah, I guess that's what he goes by. Uh, we know him in several different names. Keeps the IRS guessing. He's the play-by-play uh, <laughs> -play -play guy for Ironton. Okay, we're going into the bonus round, and we'll start with you. It's the 15, 10, 5, then 5, 10, 15, if you get one of these, on countries. 15-point clue, this constitutionally unitary state uh, includes the autonomous territories of the Faroe Islands and Greenland in the North Atlantic Ocean. Uh, Denmark is right for 15. Nice job there. About to give the wrong team the score here. <laughs> now, hey, uh, words borrowed me? from the German language. Five pointer is the word itself is a German invention. Name this preschool educational approach based on playing, singing, practical activities such as drawing and social interaction as part of the uh, transition from home to school for children ranging from two to six years of age. Kindergarten. Kindergarten, yes. The name of this whitish metal element was coined in 1754 by the Swedish mineralogist Axel von Konstedt. But the Swedish word was actually a half translation of the German term, literally meaning copper demon. It came to be used to refer to small coins in the U.S. in the 1850s when the government introduced one cent coins made of it to replace the old copper pennies. Uh, zinc? Not zinc. Ten points if you know. Josiah? Ten. It's nickel. Famous first lines. Josiah, your team from Tri-State STEM has the 15-point clue. If you really want to hear about it, the first thing you'll probably want to know is where I was born and what my lousy childhood was like. That's the first line of what? Book. Can we go to the 10 point? Sure. And how my parents were occupied and all before they had me and all the David Copperfield kind of crap 
But I don't feel like going into it, if you want to know the truth. Can we go to the five point? So began what 1951 J.D. Salinger novel. Guess Josiah? Wow. Jared, do you know? Stand by me. It's Catcher in the Rye. Back to you for a European geography question. 15. This city is an important industrial, scientific, educational, and cultural center in Eastern Europe. It is home to many high-tech industries, higher education institutions, and historical landmarks. The city suffered significant destruction during World War II, but quickly recovered in the post-year wars or post-war years, remaining the Soviet Union's third largest city. Uh, Kiev. Kiev is right for 15. Didn't need the 10 or the 5. We have now England for your bonus. Here's your five-pointer. Almost at the beginning of historic time, a group of tribes speaking an Indo-European dialect settled into England. They were often in conflict with the Romans, such as in the Roman Gallic Wars, the conquest of Gaul, and the conquest of Britain. Today, the term generally refers to the languages and respective cultures of Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Cornwall, Isle of Man, and Brittany. Celts. The Celts is right. Set in 12th century England, what colorful description of a tournament outlaws a witch trial and divisions between Jews and Christians, what Walter Scott novel influenced popular perceptions of Richard the Lionheart, King John, and Robin Hood? No guess? Josiah? Yes. Yes? That's Ivanhoe. Let's move on to holidays, and it's for you, Josiah and team. Greetings for this holiday were popular as far back as the Middle Ages, though written ones didn't begin to appear until after 1400. The oldest known written greeting for this holiday, still in existence today, was a poem written in 1415 by Charles, Duke of Orléans, to his wife while he was imprisoned in the Tower of London following his capture at the Battle of Agincourt. Let's go to the 10. 10. The Roman god associated with the holiday has his roots in Greek mythology. According to the Greek archaic poets, Eros was a handsome immortal played with the emotions of gods and men using golden arrows to incite love and leaden ones to sow aversion. Valentine's Day. That's it for 10. Brings you up to 40 and a chance for more on Spanish things. Five pointer. What three word name was given to a failed landing operation on the southwestern coast of Cuba in 1961 by Cuban exiles who opposed Fidel Castro's Cuban revolution, covertly financed and directed by the U.S. government? Operation Burning Sky? No. Of the Bay of Pigs. Bay of Pigs is right. And that will end our bonus round with a score of 75 to 40 in favor of Jared and his team from Rock Hill. The 62nd round coming up here are the categories. Dogs and cats. Four letter words with only one consonant. Family members in Spanish and silent S when high Q returns. Okay. Food Fair is the place to save. Our cart cash rewards will save you even more. Become a VIP member. Sign up is easy. When you sign up for cart cash, the more you shop, the more you save. Visit any of our locations or go to foodfairmarkets.com and sign up today to start saving. Food Fair, where convenience and quality meet. Stop wishing you were debt-free. Start consolidating. Members Choice Credit Union is committed to helping you take control of your finances this new year. And all it takes is a personal loan. Imagine one monthly payment at a great interest rate. Stop worrying about debt. Start taking control of your finances. Consolidate your debt today with the help of your credit union family at Members Choice. Visit us online at mccu.net. For those on the go, the Smoothie Connoisseur, 
the break room favorite. And for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track. Make life easier and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. The views are breathtaking. The experience is hands-on. The instruction is personal. The programs are nationally ranked. The atmosphere is welcoming. It's all here, all in one unique place at Moorhead State University, all to help you soar higher. And welcome back to High Q. We've played two rounds of play, and it's a good game, 75-40 in favor of Jared and the Rock Hill team. Uh, since Josiah, Tri-State STEM has the lower score, you pick first from one of those four categories. Would you like dogs and cats? How about four-letter words with only one consonant? Family members in Spanish or silent <laughs> We'll do family members in Spanish. Family members in Espanol, por favor, señores y señoritas. Hoping I'm not giving out any answers. Okay. Start the clock. Grandfather. Abuelo. Son, S-O-N. We'll skip. Sister. Hermana. Uh-huh. Wife. Skip. Parents. Patres. Yes. Grandson. We'll skip. Niece. We'll skip. Male cousin. We'll skip. Uncle. Tio. And half brother. Oh. The last one. You have 10 seconds left. Half brother. Okay, time runs out. Four of those for you brings you to 80 now. Jared and Rock Hill on the uh, family members in Spanish. Son. Um, Io. Io. Wife, esposa, esposa, si, grandson, nothing. It's nieto, niece, no, nope. sobrina, male cousin, primo, primo, si, and half brother, hermano medio. Say again. Hermano medio. Yes, good for another. Ten. So you picked up how many of theirs? One, two, three, four. Which category now for you? Uh, we'll take dogs and cats. Dogs and cats. I have a doggy. I've never had a cat, though. I've always had doggies. You ready? Start the clock. Cartoon, TV, and movies. Most lovable great name, Pal of Shaggy. Scooby-Doo. Three-letter name for any male cat. Tom. Uh-huh. Two-word, number one hit for 11 weeks for Elvis in 1956. Hound dog. Kitties, lions, and tigers, also like Nepita Cataris, Latin for what? Skip. Canine inspired saying, advising one to leave a situation undisturbed. Barking up the wrong tree? No. The Isle of Man is home to what breed of tailless cat? No. Nope. According to 2020 statistics, of the 46 deaths inflicted by dogs, which breed of dogs the most likely to bite? Pitbull. Uh -huh. Ugly Kid Joe did a 1993 remake of what number one 1974 song by Harry Chapin? Nope. From the Welsh for dwarf dog, what Pembroke Welsh breed is the smallest in the herding group? Yorkie. Say again? Yorkie. No. And that will end that. You pick up four of those. Josiah, on the uh, dogs and cats, you can pick... Up these points, kitties, lions, and tigers, also like Nepeta Cataris, Latin for what? Panthers? Catnip. Canine inspired saying, advising one to leave a situation undisturbed. Don't go sniffing around. Let sleeping dogs lie. The Isle of Man is home to what breed of tailless cat? Answer 
It's Manx, M-A-N-X. Ugly Kid Joe did a 1993 remake of what number one 1974 song by Harry Chapin. Who let the dogs out? Cats in the Cradle. And from the Welsh for dwarf dog, but Pembroke Welsh breed is the smallest in the herding group. Answer, it's a corgi. So that ends that round, 155 to 80, but I have 20 point questions to the finish of the game. We'll see who wins when Q returns. 2023 is the year of Dutch Miller Kia in South Charleston, and friends and family pricing means you'll get the best deal right up front on every vehicle, every time. Don't forget, every brand new Kia comes with Dutch Miller's exclusive 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. For a limited time, ask about no payments for 90 days. Text or chat now at DutchMillerKiaOfCharleston.com or come in today to test drive your future favorite ride ever only at Dutch Miller Kia of South Charleston. Food Fair is the place to save. Our cart cash rewards will save you even more. Become a VIP member. Sign up is easy. When you sign up for cart cash, the more you shop, the more you save. Visit any of our locations or go to foodfairmarkets.com and sign up today to start saving. Food Fair, where convenience and quality meet. The views are breathtaking. The instruction is personal. The experience is hands-on. The programs are nationally ranked. The atmosphere is welcoming. It's all here, all in one unique place. All to help you soar higher. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track, make life easier, and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Welcome back to High Q. After three rounds of play, it's 155 to 80 in favor of the Rock Hill Red Men team. But I have 20 point questions to the end of the game. And Josiah and Tri State STEM will start with you on an audio question. Given that he has 114 top 40 hits, name them all. No. To his credit, this artist won only three Grammys in his lifetime, all in the gospel category. This is from one in 1972. Listen and name the artist. Something happened and now I know he touched me and made me Who is that artist? It's not Kid Rock. <laughs> no guess? No. Jared? Elvis? It is Elvis. Right. Now, here's Elvis again with another Grammy winning gospel song. Listen and name the song. Oh, my God. When I All right. How, what is, how Great Thou Art. What a great song. It is great. How Great Thou Art. Stay with you for who was president when Neil Armstrong stepped foot on the moon? Richard Nixon. And I'm still not a crook. <laughs> good for That's pretty good. But guess what? He was. All right. For you now, who was president? By the time the wall fell, November 9th, 1989. Uh, JFK? No. Ronald Reagan? It was George H.W. Bush because Ronald Reagan's term had ended before that. Hawaiian Islands for you now. On which Hawaiian island will you find the capital of Honolulu? What? 
Guess one of the islands. Maui? No, that's a good guess. Hawaii? It's Oahu. Now, on which Hawaiian island is the Pearl Harbor National Memorial, including the USS Arizona Memorial? Honolulu? No. Hawaii? Guess what? It's Oahu again. Oh. Quite the island, huh? Scientists, coming back to you, Rock Hill. Which New Zealand physicist came to be known as the father of nuclear physics? He discovered the concept of radioactive half-life, the radioactive element radon, and differentiated and named alpha and beta ra radiation. Greiger? No. We counted on him, though. Geiger. Who is it? Time, it's Ernest Rutherford. But your scientist question, which Danish physicist proposed a theory for the hydrogen atom based on quantum theory that some physical quantities only take discrete values and stated that the electrons moved around the nucleus? Any guess on that Danish physicist? Heisenberg? No. Yes? Dalton? Niels Bohr. He was quite dull at parties. <laughs> quite dull He's going to kill us for that. He's going to kill us for that. <laughs> All right, that ends the game. We'll see who moves on, or if we have to play yet another game with these that. two when Q returns. Yeah. This Q broadcast has been brought to you in part by River Cities Builders, ANA Porta Potties, Kentucky Farmers Bank. Stoltz Pharmacy in Greetup and McDonald Pharmacy in South Shore. First and People's Bank. Large Pump and Shops of the Tri-State. Moorhead State University. Tri-State Area Food Fairs. Dutch Miller Automotive. And Members Choice Credit Union with funding provided by the Wing to Wing Foundation. Welcome back to Q. At the end of the game, we find Rock Hill defeating our friends from Tri-State STEM 215-80. So, Raquel, you'll advance, and you're going to be joining the likes of several other teams who have also advanced in our tournament, whom I had earlier, and uh, we'll find out who they are later. Oh, Shelby Valley, Paul Blazer, Boyd County, and Ironton. So you will join that list in our final games. And before we play our finals, we'll have the middle school tournament that uh, will be coming up probably in uh, April or May before we get to the finals of the high school. Uh, Tri-State STEM, excellent. Thank you for coming to our for your first year of Quiz Bowl. Hope to see you again next year. Hope to see you again next week. Ernie G. Anderson reminding you to adopt a spayed or neutered pet for a lifetime of love. We'll see you next week. God bless you here on High Q. <laughs> Yay.